How much sway do corporations really have over political decisions? That's a question we've all asked ourselves at some point. Maybe it's crossed your mind when you've seen a headline about a big corporate merger, or perhaps when you've noticed a new law that seems to favor big business. The power of corporate influence on politics is a complex and multifaceted issue. It's not just about money and lobbying. It's about relationships, about strategic partnerships, and about the interplay between public and private spheres. It's a topic that's relevant to all of us, whether we're business owners, employees, or simply citizens who care about the integrity of our political system. It's something that touches every corner of our society, every sector of our economy. Now consider this, what if corporations didn't just influence but actually shaped our political landscape? To understand the extent of corporate influence, we dive into a real-life case study. Let's take a journey back to a time of intense political debate, where the stakes were high and the future of an entire industry hung in the balance. This is the story of a multinational corporation, let's call them Corporation X. They were a veritable titan in their industry, with a global presence and a reputation for innovation. Corporation X operated in the energy sector, an industry often at the heart of political discourse. The political issue in question revolved around a proposed bill that aimed to drastically reduce carbon emissions. The bill, if passed, would significantly impact Corporation X's operations, potentially leading to a decrease in their profits and a shift in their business model. Before Corporation X got involved, the bill had garnered substantial support from the public and environmental groups. It was seen as a crucial step in combating climate change, aiming to transition the nation towards cleaner, renewable energy sources. The stakes were high, not just for Corporation X, but for the future of the planet. However, even with the overwhelming public support, the bill faced stiff opposition from several quarters. There were concerns about job losses in traditional energy sectors and fears about the affordability of renewable energy. This was the landscape before Corporation X decided to step in, a landscape of support and opposition, of hope and fear. Corporation X found itself at the crossroads of a major decision. Should they support the bill and potentially harm their own interests, or should they oppose it and risk public backlash? It was a delicate balancing act, but one that Corporation X was prepared to navigate. With this background, let's delve into how this corporation influenced the political decision. How does a corporation sway a political decision? Let's dissect the tactics. To understand corporate influence, we first have to delve into the realm of lobbying. A corporation will often employ lobbyists, professionals who are adept at persuading lawmakers to support policies that favor the corporation. Lobbyists are the corporation's voice, their persuasive whisper in the ear of the decision maker. They are the bridge that connects the corporate world to the political arena ensuring that the company's interests are heard and considered. Next, we turn our attention to campaign donations. These are a powerful tool in the corporation's arsenal. By making hefty donations to the campaigns of specific politicians, corporations can position themselves favorably. Politicians may feel indebted to these corporate sponsors and, in return, may push for policies that favor the corporation. The exchange is subtle, often going unnoticed by the public, but the impact on policymaking can be significant. Strategic partnerships also play a crucial role. Corporations often forge alliances with other entities, including nonprofits, think tanks, and even other corporations. These partnerships can amplify the corporation's voice, give them additional credibility, and allow them to influence policy more effectively. For instance, a corporation might partner with a nonprofit that shares a similar interest. Together, they can lobby for a policy that benefits both parties, making it more likely to gain traction with lawmakers. Lastly, corporations also employ public relations campaigns to shape public opinion. By controlling the narrative and presenting their interests as aligning with the public's, corporations can create a groundswell of support for their preferred policies. These campaigns can be highly effective, swaying both public sentiment and political decision-making. These tactics, while legal, raise questions about the fairness of our political processes. This exploration into the tactics employed by corporations to influence political decisions illuminates the complex and often shadowy interactions between corporations and politicians. It prompts us to question whether our political processes are as democratic as we'd like to believe. It's a conversation worth having, and one that will continue in the next scene. So the corporation got involved. What were the consequences? 
Let's dive into the aftermath. When the corporation stepped into the political arena, the immediate impact was a shift in the decision-making process. The balance of power, previously held by public representatives and civil servants, tipped noticeably. Policies began to reflect the corporation's interests, often at the expense of the public good. Take, for example, the case of environmental regulations. When corporate interests are involved, these rules can be watered down or completely overlooked. The result? An immediate win for the corporation, but a longer-term loss for the environment and the communities that depend on it. But the impact doesn't stop there. Once a corporation wields its influence, it sets a precedent, a sort of green light, for other corporations to follow suit. This can lead to an escalation, where corporate interests increasingly dominate political decisions. Moreover, the corporation's involvement can also skew the public's perception of the political process. If people start to perceive that their voices are drowned out by corporate interests, their trust in the democratic system can wane. This can lead to public disengagement and in the long run a weaker democracy. The stakeholders too face the brunt of these changes. Employees, shareholders and consumers all can be affected. For instance, employees may face job insecurity if the corporation prioritizes profits over people. Shareholders might experience fluctuations in their investments. And consumers? They could end up with products or services that prioritize corporate profits over quality or safety. So, the ripple effects of corporate influence, as seen, can be far-reaching and significant. It's not just about a single decision or a solitary corporation. It's about the health of our democratic systems, the well-being of our communities, and the future of our planet. It's about understanding that when corporations step into the political arena, the impact can echo well beyond the boardroom. The ripple effects of corporate influence as seen can be far-reaching and significant. What does this case study tell us about the relationship between corporations and politics? It paints a vivid picture of a symbiotic yet often skewed relationship, a dance of power that at times can tip the scales in favor of corporate interests over those of the general public. This case study is but a microcosm of the broader context. It's not an isolated incident, but a reflection of a systemic issue. Corporations, with their vast resources, have a significant influence on politics. They can sway policy decisions, shape public opinion, and even impact electoral outcomes. This influence isn't inherently bad. After all, corporations are key players in our economy. They create jobs, drive innovation, and contribute to societal progress. However, unchecked corporate influence can lead to a political landscape where the voices of ordinary citizens are drowned out. So, what can we do about this? One potential solution lies in strengthening transparency and accountability mechanisms. A more transparent system could help shed light on the nature and extent of corporate influence. It could uncover hidden lobbying efforts and expose potential conflicts of interest. Moreover, we can consider reforms that ensure a more level playing field. For instance, implementing stricter campaign finance laws could limit the amount of money corporations can contribute to political campaigns. This could help to prevent the undue influence of big money in politics. Another avenue worth exploring is fostering a more engaged citizenry. Encouraging active participation in politics can serve as a counterweight to corporate influence. When people are informed and involved, they can help hold corporations and politicians accountable. Ultimately, navigating the intersection of corporation and politics is a delicate balancing act. On one hand, we must acknowledge the role corporations play in our society. On the other, we need to ensure that their influence doesn't undermine the democratic process. The power dynamics between corporations and politics, as this case study shows, are intricate and complex. It's a dance of power that requires careful choreography to ensure that the music of democracy continues to play for all. In this short span, we've explored the depths of corporate influence on politics. We've dissected a case study that peeled back the layers of corporate strategies, revealing the tactics employed by big businesses to sway political decision-making. This journey took us through the maze of financial contributions, lobbying efforts, and even the strategic use of media to shape public opinion. We then unpacked the impact of such practices, shedding light on the profound implications they have on our society, economy, and democracy. These influences can shape policies that may not always align with the public interest. Moreover, we reflected on the broader implications, posing crucial questions about the balance of power, the role of transparency, and the need for regulatory oversight. While corporations wield significant influence, Remember that the power to shape our political landscape lies ultimately with us, 
the people. Let's continue to question, to engage, and to demand accountability.